Hey everyone, this tutorial is going to cover how to use Illustrator to uh, trace a drawing to use for laser cutting uh, or vinyl cutting. All right, so what I've got here is a 12 by 12 um, uh, artboard and I'm going to bring in uh, an image that I have photographed and uh, converted to mostly black and white. So let's take a look. So I'm going to go to File, Place, and then locate my drawing. This is actually a drawing done by a student named Liz. And I'm just gonna place this upper right, upper left corner rather. It is huge. So I'm gonna go to object, transform, scale, <clears throat> and then yeah, 30% looks pretty good. So I'll do that. And let's just drag this into the middle, all right? Um, if you go to align, you can actually just quickly align it to the center. Uh, and to the middle. So now it's right in the middle of the composition, which is good. All right, so you'll notice this drawing. Um, what I've done is gone into Photoshop and kind of like cleaned up any of the bits, kind of tried to make it as black and white as possible. Uh, you know, it's not perfect, but it'll certainly work for this um, trace example. All right, so here what we're going to do is just simply go up to Object, Image, Trace, I guess you have to have it selected first, hey? <laughs> selected first, object, um, image trace, and then do make and expand. Okay. So now what we can see is that this uh, is completely, I'm just hitting the command key to see all the points, um, completely filled with points now. So now it is a vectorized image that we can use. And um, I just wanted to note that if you want to move to the direct selection tool here so we can see all the points. Uh, if you want to, you can actually simplify this as well. So there's a million points out there, which is good to some degree. But if I want to kind of work into this further, like let's say I want to shape it and change it a little bit, I may want to simplify. So if you want to do that, just go to path, go to object, path, and then there's um, simplify. You notice what happens. Notice now that it retains the shape pretty well but it's giving us fewer points. And what that will mean is it will be easier for us to manipulate further on down the road. I'm not quite ready for that yet. What I wanna do next is, um, uh, let's see, we're gonna select everything. And, um, and then we're just going to um, kind of merge it down. So that way uh, everything, so what happens oftentimes in, um, in uh, Illustrator when you trace is it gives you a double line. So if I were to go into this now, let's just see here. I zoom in a little bit. And if I wanted to manipulate a point, let's say, uh, you know, this path right here, right? If I drag it out, notice, well, I guess it is working pretty well. <laughs> but in, in sometimes what happens is that it, it won't allow you to um, sort of double up that line and sort of change it and manipulate it. So if that's the case, um, what you can do is, um, Gonna sort of select, make sure everything is selected. Just do select all, and then under the Pathfinder. And if you don't see the Pathfinder, you can go up to Window and find uh, Pathfinder right here. It'll give you a pop-up menu. And then what I'm gonna look for is this button right here called Merge. So I'm just gonna click that right now to merge everything together. You may not see anything happen, which is okay. But what it's gonna do is any sort of double lines or ghost lines, it will merge down to sort of one form. Okay, now before I go too much further, what I wanna do is when I click through here with the Pathfinder, you'll notice that some areas have a white fill and some have a black fill, all right? So what I wanna do is select all the white areas and just ghost, uh, make them have no fill so that I can see exactly what I'm working with. Um, and so that would just, it just comes in handy uh, further on down the line, especially when you bring it into some of these other software platforms to vinyl cut. Um, that becomes important. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to right now, uh, I'm going to select one of the white areas. Okay, so right here, and then I'm going to go up to select and uh, same and then same fill color. All right, so now everything that's white is going to be selected. And I'm going to go to fill and change this to no fill. All right. Um, and then the last thing I'm going to do with this is uh, I'm just going to hit command Y. And you'll notice that uh, I have this border around. This was the border of my image. And I don't want that to laser cut or to vinyl cut. I just want the object, right? So take the direct selection tool and just click a few of the anchor points and delete um, all the way around so that line is gone, all right? So remember that 
when you hit command Y, you're able to see the paths and this can show you um, kind of exactly what we'll cut and what you're working with. Um, so, you know, this is a great way to set up your work for um, for laser cutter or vinyl cutter. If you're working with a laser cutter in our makerspace, you can just save it as an uh, illustrator file. If you're working with any of the vinyl cutters, you can save it as an SVG. And then again, um, I do recommend going through your image a little bit and, and working with it. So for example, just add a few uh, teeth to this guy here. Well, that's not the greatest tooth, but there we go. So you know what I mean? You can go in, you can manipulate this further, you can make it more your own, even though it is your own in the drawing, but you can sort of work with it further and, um, and uh, add any additional things to it. And then of course, that gives you a little bit more detail to work with. All right, so that's how you work with images. Um, drawn images, again, it's great. Just pencil on paper works well, marker, ink on paper, anything like that. Use your hand, convert it to digital, and then we'll fabricate it out in different modes. All right, all for now. Take care.